I want them to go to college someday. And I want them to not have the admissions office like come and say, well, this was happening when you were in high school or when you were in seventh grade or things like that. Or things like this. After April's Boston Marathon bombing, teenage girls defended suspect Jahar Sarnayev on Facebook and Twitter, posting, among other things, free Jahar and too pretty to be guilty. Comments that were picked up by a number of news sites and condemned. At the same time, however, think about all those people who arguably got rich and famous thanks to many a parent's worst nightmare in the Internet age. Kim Kardashian's sex tape was uploaded on the Internet. Soon, she was a reality show star and the center of a multi-million dollar empire. Paris Hilton was just a local New York socialite hoping for a reality show hit. Her sex tape on the internet helped make that happen. Winning! And Charlie Sheen's career was teetering on the brink. He began tweeting out all sorts of embarrassing messages and posting videos that in an earlier day would have finished him. As it happens, these days, you can dig yourself out of a hole by shoveling deeper. They would rather have the fame and the celebrity than have, well, I guess I would actually call it a sense of self-respect. Daniel Henniger of the Wall Street Journal's editorial page calls it the age of indiscretion. Do you keep that in the back of your mind? That your son may at some point, or your daughter may even do something outrageous just to get known. I haven't thought about it with my kids now that you've, done, you've told me, though. I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, what are they going to do? It's out there. It's, it's scary for me to think that way. Bartolomeo's fear captures one of the great paradoxes of the digital age. Half a century ago, novelist George Orwell imagined a society in which our every movement is monitored by an all-seeing figure called Big Brother. Today, big data has far more ability than even Orwell imagined to even know much of what we think. But one thing would surely surprise Orwell. Instead of our citizens demanding their privacy, they can't wait to give it away. If the root in is behaving like a moron, I think a lot of people are willing to give up their privacy, give up their sense of shame, give up their embarrassment. Problem is, there's just not enough fame or fortune for everyone with a digital camera and a broadband connection. But the capacity to screw up your life does seem limitless. I'm a special Italian sandwich. Domino's Pizza employees fired and criminally charged after posting a video of themselves doing gross things to food they were preparing. <laughs> a lesson lost on this Taco Bell employee. He was recently fired after this photo was posted on Facebook.